I started raising money on a whim on my blog uh, years ago when I finally found out that people were actually reading the blog. And uh, I thought I might be able to get people to raise maybe $5,000 if my fans were interested. And uh, it took off a lot harder and faster than I expected. And over the last five years, we've raised more than $2 million. World Builders is a charity that I started to kind of bring together uh, geeks who wanted to do good in the world. And one of the best organizations for doing long-term sustainable good is Heifer International. Uh, they provide um, education and livestock for people in all parts of the world uh, that effectively gives sustainable growth into the future. Um, a goat isn't just a goat for most families. A goat is like giving somebody a small business that gives birth to other small businesses that you can share with your neighbors. And so uh, we raise money for Heifer International and we pass it along and we kind of rally the troops and then Heifer International kind of does the hard work of education. Um, I have a bit of a fondness for Heifer because I've known about them for years. It's a charity that uh, both me and my mom were very fond of uh, for years before I was ever published. And honestly, it's just an issue of it gives you the biggest bang for your buck. If you, uh, you know, if you give somebody who's hungry a sack of rice, I've always felt very almost desolate when you're confronted with those late night commercials. You say, for the price of a cup of coffee, you can help this person. And, and you see these, these, these people living in horrible conditions and they're, they're hungry and you think, I am such a fat American, you know? I, but at the same time you think, well, if I do give something, I'll have to give something forever to make this person's life slightly less awful. But that's not how Heifer works. Heifer goes in, educates uh, a whole community gets them to work together, and then gives them the tools that they can use to improve their lives, and then teaches them how to teach other people how to improve their lives. And it, it, it cascades endlessly into the future. Uh, after the Korean War, Heifer went in to help the country because it was just a, a smoking crater. And these days it's estimated that 80% of the chickens in Korea are descended from Heifer International chickens. I mean, the sort of benefit there is just incalculable. You know, that's, that's why we do Heifer. Um, it's, it's the most efficient and long-lasting charity in existence, in my opinion. Heifer International is a really smart charity, and geeks are really smart. Um, also, a lot of people who read fantasy, you know, all fiction is concerned with the question of what if but nobody deals with what ifs as big as the people in the fantasy and the science fiction world uh, were actively engaged in this speculation. Um, and so when somebody asks a relatively simple what if, like what if you gave a family uh, a, a hive of bees, you know, would this improve the crop pollination? Would this give them honey to use and sell? And wax is something that they could make use of? Uh, that's a very simple what if. And most geeks are, have spent their whole lives engaged in this sort of speculation that's honestly much harder than that. You know, you know what if gravity was twice as, as uh, powerful? What if there was magic? What if you opened a door and went to Narnia? And when you say, you know, what would happen if you gave someone a goat? And you go, wow, well, that family would be healthier and the children would have protein and calcium in their diets and then they could sell the extra. And, oh, that's a very easy what if. Um, and the geeks have really rallied around it. Uh, my fellow, my brethren geeks and sister and geeks. Uh, they've really made it something that I'm very proud of.